What is going on guys and welcome to what will hopefully be an epic turtle trapping episode here. So here's the story. Last year I made this turtle trap and I thought I'm going to catch me some turtles this summer. I took this fishing net, cut a hole in the bottom, made a cylinder out of some fencing wire and set it out in the river and I had it back there for probably like a month and I caught zero turtles that entire time. But I realized what the problem was. The turtles back in the river are so big, they could just reach their heads in, grab the bait, and not even get fully in the trap. Or they were so big, they wouldn't even get through the entrance. It was simply too small for them. That's why I caught zero turtles. So, I have built a second trap, the Turtle Catcher 2.0 here. It is almost six feet long, I'm about six one, double the size of the last one. Let me check this out. I took a huge fray bill like salmon net, cut a hole in the bottom of it. I think this material is gonna be much stronger than the other net, and the entrance is also bigger, so the turtles can go inside and get the bait that's gonna be at the very back, and they have to get all the way in. I hope that this will catch some turtles this summer. I'll finally catch my first turtle. And if I do, I'm gonna convert this swimming pool into one massive pond filled with fish and turtles. Just kidding. I wish I could. That sounds pretty cool, but I don't, I, that would take so much expense and work to convert a swimming pool into one big pond. But I've thought about it many a time. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the aquarium part. I'll figure that out later. For now, let's just see if I can catch one because I'm, I'm a little bummed out after last year. Let's just take this thing down to the river and, and just see if I can catch a turtle first. <sighs> All right. I think right about here is good. What you can't do with a turtle trap is put it in too deep of water. You always have to have part of it sticking up so they come up to breathe. Otherwise, you drown. If you just throw a trap all the way underwater, they drown. So, let's see. I think I should reverse it. There we go. So, the entrance. I want the entrance fully underwater. All right. I'm using a zip tie on the fish. I'm going to put it all the way to the back almost. I don't want it touching any of the sides, except for the top, of course, but I don't want it touching any of the sides so that the turtles don't believe they can reach through and get it. They have to figure out how to get inside and grab it. And there we go, it's dangling in the water a little bit. I'm gonna close the trap door, but it's dangling in the water and that scent is, uh, is gonna get out in the water there. I'm gonna stir it a little bit. Then I'm gonna close the trap door with this removable zip tie. I'm gonna splash it a little bit. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's leave this for a few hours, see what happens. So with this revised turtle trap and the bait, I was fairly confident this would attract quite a bit of attention, but it did take a little while. And right here you see I have my uh, first customer there, a little guy, but he just looks through at the bait, kind of like, like window shopping. But overall, he doesn't seem super interested in it. And then I did put a GoPro inside the trap just to see what the view was like from inside. And you see a boat going by there. And this did make me a little nervous because I did think about the risk of leaving all the GoPros in uh, a trap along the river like that. But... Oh yeah, by the way, when a horse apple falls in the forest, it does make a sound. Anyway, I got my first big turtle, major turtle here, coming around looking at it. And uh, you can see him trying to climb it, trying to figure out how to get in. And it surprised me that it took like an hour or so for this dude to find his way in there. You see it's almost dark, but he did finally find his way in, the bait's moving. He's got it, he's trying to tear off a chunk. You see his head right there. I can't believe it, I got my first turtle. And you can see in the time lapse here, he is just pulling off chunks. The bait kept him occupied till it got dark. Why is the trap moving so much? Is there like something? Oh look! I got him! I got my first turtle! 
Look at him, try to get out. <laughs> oh, that's cool. The trap is working. It worked. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. My first ever trapped turtle and uh, a snapping turtle. It might be a keeper too. Oh, he's trying to get out on this side. Might be a keeper. They have to be over 12 inches to keep. And uh, yeah, he's trying to get out. Hmm, I may have to uh, add a few more snaps to it. Whoa, bro. Yeah, he's trying to figure out. It held him. I can't believe it. I just trapped my first turtle. Check this out, guys. So while I was getting a camera set up, he escaped out of the trap door there. And whoa, look at him. Yeah. Good knit, dude. All right, so since this is the first catch ever in a trap, I'm actually gonna let this guy go tonight. And we'll worry about an aquarium or whatever I'm gonna do tomorrow. You are free to go, look at him. Right there. Right there. All right. Whoa. <laughs> All right, scoot, you can scoot. Go for it. Go for it, man. There you go, my friend. That is cool. Well, guys, I know in the grand scheme of my outdoor accomplishments, that may not have seemed like much, but I'm actually super happy with it. So I'm going to pull in the trap for tonight. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, so I've switched up my strategy a little bit here. Before, I was putting the bait all the way at the back of it, but... Upon reviewing the footage, I realized that wasn't such a great idea because they spend most of their time right back here trying to get in and it took one turtle all day to uh, figure out how to get in through that way. So I'm putting the bait in the middle of the trap now and I'm hoping that will inspire more of them to try the entrance there. And then just to, to add a little something to it, I've got here these chicken livers and I'm just gonna pour this in kind of in the water and uh, let's pour a few of these. I don't want to use all at once, but got some good chicken liver there. Ooh. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this in the trap as well. Just some extra morsels and hopefully bring like even more turtles in. And then I'm going to take like this piece and I'm going to throw it at the entrance there so that the turtles will get used to coming like in the entrance. There we go. See that? See how it's like clinging to the net there? That way they'll come. And then they'll hopefully, you know, find their way in. I guess I'll just throw these pieces in there. So this might be the last day. I don't know. I'm kind of having fun with it. Now that I caught a turtle in the trap, I might start my own little turtle aquarium. So, all right, let's leave this, see what happens. So this time there was a lot more action from the bigger turtles. You can see a nice hefty snapper right there coming along, trying to figure it out. But something really surprised me here. So the turtle's going around the trap. This is pretty cool, like the way his claws like stick through. They have some long, sharp claws. But uh, as they're trying to figure it out, I kind of thought that like once the turtle discovered the trap, they would kind of make a circle around it and figure out pretty quick how to get in. Like you know, maybe just a few minutes. Um, look, he looks like a dinosaur. But. This went on for like over an hour. <laughs> I thought that if I moved the bait to the middle, they would kind of make a circle around it, figure out the entrance, and boom, shoot right in. But no, I, and I'm thinking these guys aren't the brightest bulbs in the box here. And you see a little one there. You has got to be careful for that big one, man. Bite your tail off, bite your head off there. But the turtles do seem to get along well. That's one thing I've noticed is I haven't noticed in all the underwater fish any aggression toward the little ones. You see the little one right there? I thought, perfect. He's going to get in. The entrance is right there. You see it clear as day. And he gets tangled up in the net. But here, finally... A turtle finds his way in through the trap. I mean, the entrance is right there. It's wide open. Uh, one thing's for sure, if it took them that long how to figure out how to get in, I'm pretty sure they're not going to as easily figure out how to get out. And look at them tearing away at it, man. These guys are vicious. I think snapping turtles are so cool just from their, like, aggression, whether I picked them up with my hands and they've snapped at me. Or right here, the way he's tearing at the bait and stirring up the mud and everything. This dude is crazy. And look, he goes and he... 
you hear that? He took a little, uh, a <laughs> little breath of air through his nostrils and goes back at it, trying to tear off the skin of the striper and having a bit of a hard time with that. I'm not sure what he's doing with his skin there because there's nothing to eat. There's all the, like, the, the meat and everything on the main body, but he's kind of just tearing at the skin. Like I say, I conclude from this, these guys are vicious, but they're not very smart. And then you see here, <laughs> softshell turtle, he wants in there, but dude, I wouldn't get in there with an angry snapping turtle. I wonder what would happen if two of them got in there. Would they would they fight over it, or would they just each try to take their own chunk of it? I'm not really sure if, if snapping turtles fight like that. This guy is this guy's aggressive. All right, my friends, we're coming back down to the river to check the old turtle trap, and uh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I thought that the trap was all the way underwater. Although the water has come up, though. Very interesting. The water's come all the way up. Don't know if there's a turtle in there. Gave a little shudder. Anyway, we'll check it out. I got this while I was uh, waiting for the turtle trap. I got this huge, what is this, like a trough or something? From Tractor Supply. And I'm going to use this as my little pond. And uh, whatever turtles I catch, hopefully there's some in there. Put them in this. Build a little aquarium for him. I'm really excited about this. Let's uh, check the trap. I thought I saw the trap give a little shudder, actually. <sighs> yeah, the water's... <gasps> there, wait, I see a turtle right in there. I got one. Yes! Success! Wow, the water's come up like probably eight inches or so. Guys, I've got a turtle. Again, the trap worked. Let's see here. What do we got? Another snapper. Check it out. Sweet. Looks like maybe a teeny bit smaller than the last one. I, I feel like I've conquered a new outdoor skill now. Making a turtle trap. Dude, the door's right there, man. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's gonna try to... Oh, hey! Oh, look at him! Whoa! Holy mackerel! I'm a little scared! Look at him! Look at the aggression. It's like a snake. He's hissing. Like I expected him just to, his toe is caught. Well, this is, I kind of don't want to get in his pathway. I feel like he could just bite right through my waders. Look at him. Get your toe out of there. Oh, your toenail's caught. There we go. Gotcha. Look at how he's trying to reach back. I gotta be careful not to slip here. That would be my, I'm losing something then. Okay. This isn't for everybody. All right. And the first turtle ever in my aquarium. Look how he turns to face me. That is cool. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just conquered a new skill, turtle trapping. Let's fill this thing up. You know, one thing I just thought of is this is gonna be a really cool part of the property when I have guests over. Cause I have nieces and nephews and stuff like that. When they come over, if I wanna catch a couple turtles in the back and make up a little pond for a few days while they're here, that would make uh, just some fun entertainment for everybody. And uh, yeah, I like this uh, addition to the property. All right, before I get to building a habitat, I actually wanna put this back out there. I can't believe all the use I've gotten off of that uh, striper there. First to enjoy a delicious meal and then to be catching turtles on it. Like that's pretty cool. And like, it's good for in the future if we ever get in like a really bad, you know, situation and I'm not one of those people who thinks America's too big to fail. Um, in the future, if it ever came down to where like I had to come down to this river every week to like gather food, people go out like catch fish and then eat the fish and then use the carcasses to catch turtles, all that stuff. I feel like just valuable skills for anybody to have. So, all right, my friends, one of the only big rocks I could find that was somewhat flat. Um, 
this is the only one I can find. What I have to do is wait for the river to go down tomorrow, and then I can thoroughly build his environment with river rock. Right now, the river's so high, and I just have a mud bank there. But you know what else I'll do, though? I'll add some logs here. This is going to be a work in progress, okay? And I'm going to add turtles to it, you know? Everybody needs a friend, you know? A happy little friend. Just like... Uh, Just some like logs for him to get up on for now. And I'm gonna add a little bit more water. <sighs> Although there's this root tangle. Oh, and this is a loose log. Oh, look, he'll like that log. It's nice and slimy. Yeah, add a little bit more water so he can completely submerge if he wants. But uh, for now, I think this will do it. Ooh. Well, you can see where it rained last night big time made a bog back here got quite a bit of rain in the middle of the night I think it probably filled up the uh, turtle aquarium I'll just call it the aquarium although I do like the word pond it is more like an aquarium because it's not in the ground so I have here some chicken for the little feller Hey, look, yeah, definitely a lot more water in here because that rock was not like that. Is he alive? He's trying to... Oh, yeah, okay, so there's his head. All right, he's alive. Um, excellent. What I'm going to do is probably clean out his water first before I feed him. Oh, yeah, he's peeking his head up over there. I'm going to let the water out. That's one nice thing about this is it has a nice big drain. So in hindsight, it's probably un totally unnecessary to change out his water. I mean, these do live in the mud, literally. They spend most of their time burrowed down in the mud. But, I don't know, I guess I just don't want him to have stagnant water there. Alright, buddy, I'm gonna feed ya. Gotta be careful doing this. I'm gonna set these on the log there. Like a piece right there, too. He'll probably one in the water, so he smells it good. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna leave him now, see if he eats chicken. All right, so the footage here kind of reinforces my theory that snapping turtles aren't that bright. So I put the piece of chicken right in front of him, and it looks like he's looking around for it. Like he can smell it in the water. But uh, having a hard time finding it. And then finally right here, oh, there it is. Eats that chunk. Now all he has to do is lift his head, turn to the side, and there are all the other pieces. And uh, he's looking around for them and he never found him. It even looks like at some points he's sniffing the air and uh, still never figured it out. Hey, you big goober. Why didn't you eat the other pieces? Do they have to be in the water? Maybe he doesn't know they're there. And then I finally decided, you know what, I'm just gonna stick all these in the water right in front of his face. I'd hate to starve a snapping turtle. And when I did that, now he starts chowing down. But I had to <laughs> practically spoon feed him before he found the bait. I didn't want the chicken to go bad or another animal to come along and take it. So there we go, the first feeding of my snapping turtle. Oh. It is a beautiful morning this morning what is going on guys I'm gonna head down to the river oh check this out got all the spider webs covered in dew tons of them that is so cool all down this fence line ah love living in the mountains the smoky mountains here I'm gonna find a new spot this morning for the turtle trap that's the plan oh, some spiders been busy that's cool. That was not there last night when I was out here. They were busy last night. This is crazy. They even made one across the pond. What's up, dude? You're active this morning. Did you eat all your chicken? Okay, so there's one piece of chicken left. So he ate, what did I put in there? Like seven, seven or eight pieces. So he ate, yeah, he ate all of them except for that one there. You know, I'm gonna put a shit over by him since he doesn't seem to want to move to eat his lunch. All right, let's look at the river here. Um, river is looking 
very low, which is which is good, which is typical. In the morning, uh, they usually have the river quite low. All right, my friends, I have a um, fishing pole and a frog gig. Just because I don't know what's going to happen today. I'm going to explore the island, and then we'll uh, put the turtle trap out. There's a crawdad right there. I'm gonna try to grab him. <laughs> Got him. Nice, I just saw him randomly down there. Look at, the, look at the blue on him, now that is interesting. If I decide to bass fish later, dark on top, quite a bit of blue on him. Sweet, glad I brought the bucket, throw him in there with a little water. Wow, cool. That's why you just gotta get out, guys, and you never know what's gonna gonna happen. Oh wow, this has gone overgrown. Boy, I have not been out on the island for a while. Normally, I'm trampling all this stuff down. Oh, my path got so overgrown here. Wow, cool. It's kind of a little bit cooler this morning, but it was really warm yesterday, so it uh, made a lot of fog. We have differences between ground temperature and, and air temperature. That's what you get. And I just saw a turtle out there. Oh, there he goes. Big turtle. That's a good sign. Check this out. So I'm at the very end of the island here. Current comes down this way, but it's calm on this side. And it appears to me to be deep right down there. Got a tangle of sticks and trees and everything. And uh, this looks like a perfect spot for the trap. I'm going to kind of lean it up against that stick there. I want to make sure they have... Plenty of room above the water to breathe there. But that chicken is submerged down in the water there, half a chicken. All right, let's see what happens. So right as I was about to leave, I did notice that in the bag of chicken, they uh, put like the gizzard and uh, the neck and stuff in a little baggie. So I put that around the trap just to add some extra attraction. And I thought it'd be cool if one came up and grabbed it off that log there. But as you can see, one is Climbing the outside of the trap, uh, he seems to be content um, on top of it, I guess. And then the other one is is everywhere around the trap except the entrance. So uh, I kind of at this point just have to accept that turtles have a hard time getting in the traps. And you have to give them a long, long time to figure it out. All right, while I wait for the turtle trap, I'm gonna put on the crawdad that I caught earlier and try to catch a bass with him. I haven't done this in a while, using live crawdads. Here we go. He's a one-clawed fellow. That, that slight blue color on him is really cool. I'm just gonna use him weightless. I figure he'll do most of the action out there. I see a big snapping turtle right there. There's a huge snapper. I'm gonna see if he'll eat a crawdad. That is crazy. I am seeing turtles all over the place. Wonder if a snapping turtle would eat a crawdad. Oh, I think something might have it. Got him, got him. Guys, right there, a bass under that tree. Oh, it's a nice one too. It's a nice one. I think it's a small mouth. Oh, he's got me tangled up in the tree, dang it. Come on, come on. Went right for the trees. On that live crawdad. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> All of a sudden my line starts swimming upstream. It's a small mouth. Oh, it's a nice one. Yes. That is cool. It's been a while since I caught a fish on a live crawdad. Oh. Look at that small <sighs> Got him! Yeah! <laughs> that is cool! While well, I'm waiting for the turtle trap, do a little fishing. Oh, right at the top of the mouth. <laughs> that is fun. On a crawdad that I found. <laughs> Nothing like foraging for your own bait, huh? Beautiful small, fierce fighter. Oh, sweet. All right, I need another crawfish. 
so I can try to catch another bass. That was fun. Oh, there's a crawdad right there. He's literally <laughs> that, that easy. Are you kidding me? Whew, thank you, Lord. This is, I've had a lot of blessed days out here, I have to say. Cool. Uh, that was that was uh, <clears throat> the world fa world's fastest crawdad catch, or at least for me anyway. All right, play him on hook. This guy has two claws. I wonder if that, you know, I don't think that hurts. Um, I don't think that deters any bass because when you cut open a bass, they have crawdads in their stomach. The crawdads have, you know, they eat them whole. I don't think bass are scared of a crawdad claw one bit. Boy, this mud is deep. Um, I know for a fact, see, all right, guys, you see all this mud here? Well, I know for a fact that there's this ridge of rock right there. You, you, I think you guys can kind of see it. I have polarized sunglasses, so it's easier for me. Yeah, there's mud. Oh, this mud is deep. But if I can get it on the rocks, the bass are a lot of times all along the rock ridges, of course. Oh, is that a fish? That might be a fish. I'm going to let him eat it for a second. That might be a fish. Oh, that was a fish. Oh, shoot. All of a sudden, you start swimming up river again. You okay, dude? <laughs> Crawdad doesn't seem to be hurt. Oh. oh, there was a bite. Oh, show. Something either has it or is about to have it. Got him. Got him. Yes! Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, well, of course, there are a lot of weeds, too. It might be tangled up in the weeds. Yes! Cool. Oh, it's another nice one. It looks like a smallmouth. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> cool. This is fun. Live crawfishing. Oh, the crawdad's still on the line. Oh, oh yes. I, just, I think it's being bigger. Yes! Thank you, Lord. What a cool, what a cool thing here. I love all this beautiful river. River smallmouth fishing, turtle trapping. Just got to get out, guys, and try stuff. Look at this beast. This is a big smallie. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. He still has the crawdad in his mouth. Gotcha. There's the crawdad still on the line. Look at that, my friends. Oh, that is a probably, that's probably almost a three pounder right there. Okay, probably two and a half. I think that crawdad's still good too. That is fantastic, beautiful dark bronze back. You know they've been hanging out in shallow water when they get that dark fish tan, just like people do. This guy's been hanging out in the shallow water for a long time. That is a nice, nice small mouth right there. Here we go. Yeah, I've still got like a whole crawdad on. He's not moving. I think he might be might be dead, kind of stunned. But look at that beautiful smallie there, guys. Wow. Oh. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's fun. So right about the time I was catching the smallmouth, they must have opened the floodgates to the dam, which is located about 10 miles upstream because the water began to rise very rapidly as you can see here the turtle trap becomes almost completely submerged which means if any turtles get in it at this point they can't get up to the surface to breathe and there was plenty of turtle activity but uh, they were all small ones so i had to rush back to uh, find the trap all right my friends guess what <laughs> they're raising the river like crazy the last half hour I need to go make sure my turtle trap is all good and I haven't drowned any turtles. Crikey, look at this. Luckily turtles can hold their breath for like an hour. And, oh, I have fish in there. Oh, and I have one little tiny turtle. Look at this, I have a bunch of bluegill and stuff. Bunch of bluegill and a little tiny turtle. All right, well, I'll take it, I guess. Well, my friends, kind of doesn't make any sense to have waders on at this point they went from zero letting zero water out of the dam to 300 what do they call that whatever that measurement is to 4,000 so if I don't want to be swimming I need to get across to this bank got half the river 
forever in there. There's a worm right here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an aquarium now. It's, it's official. Check it out. First of all, is this, what is this guy? I think it's just a baby snapping turtle. Is that, yeah, just like a dirty, he's like, look at all the green moss on top. He's a dirty turtle. There you go, my friend. Then we got a bluegill and we got the crawdad from earlier that caught that smallmouth. He's still alive, miraculously. And then another little bluegill, a little sunfish there. Anything else? There was a third sunfish, but I think he got out. All right. I'm just gonna take all these guys, pour them right in there, and I'll refresh the water in here as well. A crawdad, turtle, two, two turtles, and fish. Folks, I'm so glad I've got the makings of a little aquarium here because I have some guests that are coming over that I think are really gonna like this. All right, my friends, so my guests are coming in about an hour, and uh, I gotta drain the water. I want to drain and clean the whole aquarium so that uh, we got a good view, a good view of the turtles. All right, guys, what I'm going to do is grab some of this, some of these weeds. I feel like there are probably a lot of things hiding in the weeds that the turtles would like to eat, especially the small and little bugs and stuff, but also they would like to hide in it. Look at this big handful of like shells and stuff like that. I'm gonna put some of that in there too. You never know. It's like it's all congregated in this little area. You never know if there are any live ones in there that the turtles would like to eat. And I'm just gonna grab a bunch of this stuff. Oh look, I grabbed a fish. A little fish of some sort. That looks like an actual aquarium fish. That's crazy looking. That might be like some sort of invasive species. Well, we'll, we'll add him to it. Sweet, so that weed's added to it, I think. I think that's gonna be good. All right, so I have my niece and nephew out here. We are headed to look at the turtles. All right, I'll go first, just in case there are any snakes or anything. I gotta get all the snakes out of the way. Right through here. Here we go. Uh-huh. Look at him. You see him right there? Hey, you. How are you? Got to be careful because he'll... Right, let's give him some fresh... Oh, look at him. They're cuddling together. They're both snapping turtles. Who knows? That might be his little baby. Yeah, that must be the mom and dad. That might be. They're pretty comfortable together. Can we feed them some fish? Yes. You want to get some fish out? Ooh, slimy little fish. All right. You can grab one by the tail, or you can just grab them anyway. You want. There we go. And then we just drop it. See, we don't want to get too close. He'll snap us. So you just drop it right in front of him. You always want to drop yours in. There we go. You want to throw yours, Crockett? Huh. He might not eat it since we're watching him. Look at that little one. He's just cuddling up to him. Is he his baby? Might be. You know, I caught him real close together. That might be his mama. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why the no fish? I see he'll probably eat once we're once we're gone. See, because they don't like to eat in front of people, you know. I don't want him to leave. Yeah. Oh no, the baby snapping turtle wants his mama. Mm, yeah. You know, maybe we should just Whoa, look at that, huh? Whoa! Wow. Woo! Snap. <laughs> uh-huh. All the baby still is scared. Are you covering your ears because he might snap? There we go. I'll fill, fill it all the way up later. Here we go. Well, <laughs> back up to the house. Well, my friends, 
fun learning how to turtle trap. I'm gonna keep keep at it. I wanna catch one of the giant ones that live back in the river here. There certainly are a lot of them. So uh, yeah, we'll try this again. Also make an aquarium out of some other things. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.